All right, tonight we're gonna make a simple taco ring. It doesn't take very many ingredients. I'm gonna show them to you right here. We have some shredded cheese, these croissant rolls. You can buy the store brand because again, we're doing this on a budget. And this is some ground taco meat. I use ground turkey, you can use ground beef, ground pork, whatever you want. Spray a little butter. This is a large cooking sheet, despite how it may look. I use two packs of crescents because again, we are a family of seven. You're going to put them down here. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want them as close as possible because you don't want large gaps between the um, between them because the meat will fall out. And then you'll see why in a second after I get it all laid out. Um, go ahead and preheat your oven. I did mine at 375. I just find it lower, keeps it from burning. And it also lets it cook through a little slower on the bottom because you don't want raw dough underneath. So once you get those all laid out, I kind of smash mine down a little bit, gives it a little more spread and there's a little more room. And then you're going to go in with your taco meat. Um, I would suggest using something like a measuring scoop or a spoon. Um, not just trying to like use a spatula because that's not going to work. It's going to make a mess. And some of them will fall out and that's fine. Just get some little crispy bits in the middle. So this was like a pound and a quarter, maybe a little more of meat. You could probably do a pound. But again, ground turkey does not reduce the way beef does. So remember that. Then we're going to go in with, this is a Mexican cheese blend from Aldi or Lidl. I don't quite recall which one it's from so i put a lot of cheese because my kids like cheese and again this is all that's going on there and then you're just going to flip up those sharp ends and kind of try to tuck them either underneath or attach them to you can see some of the places the croissant dough is sticking out attach that underneath and that helps hold it together a little bit better and then you're just going to toss that in the oven and then it's going to come out looking like this i brush mine with a little bit of butter with a little garlic and herb seasoning on top or wasn't garlic herb but garlic salt and a little butter on top and then you're going to see here, this is the final product. I serve mine usually with a little lettuce and stuff in the middle. My kids were starving, so I didn't get to get that in my video. But usually a little lettuce, sour cream, and salsa. And then, of course, we had some taco rice on the side. Thanks for watching.